Hey guys, welcome back. This is part 8 of my Metal Gear Solid Let's Play. So, uh, yeah, basically we dropped the PAL key and got it back. So now we're sort of set it off, fix it boy. Yeah, there we go. So now we need to stick it in the laptop, run back, freeze it, and then stick it back in the laptop, and then run back, heat it up, and stick it back in the laptop. <laughs> Center of the day is Silver Scent by Lapidus. So uh, yeah, that's pretty good. I'm not sure where where's my set even. I'll decide after this part. So I think we can actually finish this let's play up in two parts. I think um, this part here. There's a guard going. Once the guard fucks off we should be alright. Fuck off over there, and then... I just think he doesn't look as cool. See the new snake, see like he can see his eyes and stuff. And his hair's longer on that. I just don't think he looks as cool. I think he looks even cooler here. This is the coolest rest of snake. Solid snake. <laughs>
creative sea lanes in Sunday. me or something like that, some stupid. So if it, if, I, if it jumps, it just means I've paused the recording, done something, thinking the recording again, stop the back up. Seems like great fun. I 
right, so I think two parts, we should be done in fact. I say two parts, but really, there'll be one part for the Destroy Metal Gear. As it closed on, it might be awesome. I knew Gina was. I mean, I'd surprise. Well, if I have to shoot them, it doesn't cause no harm. Shot by nothing. <laughs> that guy jumping. Must have gone, be gone by now. Need some silicon bullets.
That's taking the piss. Can't even avoid that. Alright, so... I think there's some soaking ammo up there, so I'm going to go and grab. Hi, Mark! Oh, shit. Alright, let me grab this. Stun grenades are pointless because well, they hurt the enemy. Keep it what happens if you use them. When guards get loud, there's no point with stun grenade to stop the guard getting loud. Oh, I'm gonna kill that other guard for fun. Man, die sounds sick. <laughs> Tell me that wasn't fucking awesome. <laughs> Take a 
photo of Metal Gear before it blew it up. Stand right in the middle of the X. is true yes but not everything i said was a lie who are you i don't know myself i don't know my real name or even what my parents looked like i bought all my identification but my reason for getting into genetics was true because you want to know yourself right that's right i want to know where i came from my, my age my race anything naomi I was found in Rhodesia sometime in the 80s, a dirty little orphan. Rhodesia? What's now known as Zimbabwe? Yes. Rhodesia was owned by England until 1965, and there were lots of Indian laborers around. That's probably where I got my skin color from, but I'm not even sure about that. Naomi, you're too worried about the past. Isn't it enough to understand who you are now? I understand who I am now. Why should I? No one else tries to understand me. I was alone for so long, until I met my big brother, and him. Your big brother? Yes. Frank Yeager. What? He was a young soldier, and he picked me up near the Zambezi River. I was half dead from starvation, and he shared his rations with me. Yes. Frank Yeager. The man who you destroyed was my brother and my only family. No. Grey Fox? We survived that hell together, Frank and I. He protected me. He's my one connection. The only connection I have to my past. And he brought you back to America? No. I was in Mozambique when he came. Who was he? You mean Big Boss? Yes. He brought us to this land of freedom. This America. And then he and my brother went back to Africa to continue the war. And that's when it happened. They killed my benefactor and sent my brother home a cripple. I vowed revenge and joined Foxhound. I knew it was my best chance to meet you and I prayed for the day that I would. So, were your prayers answered? Yes. I waited two long years. To kill me? Is that all you cared about? Yes. That's right. Two years. You were all I thought about for two long years. Like some kind of twisted obsession. Do you still hate me? Not exactly. I was partly wrong about you. What about Liquid and the others? <laughs> I'll have my revenge on them, too. Naomi, you didn't kill that doctor, too, did you? The one that used Gray Fox for his genome experiments? Dr. Clark? No. That was my brother. Afterwards, I covered it up and helped him hide out. So that ninja... I mean, Gray Fox... He's come here to kill me? I don't think so. I think he just came here to fight you. I wasn't sure before, but now I think I understand. A final battle with you. That's all he lives for. I'm sure of it. Fox, no. Naomi, tell me something. About Fox Dye? Fox Dye is a type of retrovirus that targets and kills only specific people. First, it infects the macrophages in the victim's body. 
Ox dye contains smart enzymes created through protein engineering. The program to respond to specific genetic patterns in the cells. Those enzymes recognize the target's DNA? Right. They respond by becoming active and using the macrophages they begin creating TNF epsilon. Huh? It's a type of cytokine, a peptide which causes cells to die. The TNF epsilon is carried along the bloodstream to the heart where they attach to the TNF receptors in the heart cells. And then they cause a heart attack? The heart cells suffer a shock and undergo an extreme apoptosis. Then the victim dies. Apoptosis? You mean the heart cells commit suicide? Naomi. What? You must have programmed that thing to kill me too, right? Do I still have time? Naomi, I don't blame you for wanting me dead, but I can't go yet. I still have a job to do. Listen, Snake. I'm not the one who made the decision to use Fox Tie. Huh? You weren't? No. You were injected with Fox Tie as a part of this operation. I just wanted to let you know that. No, that's not the whole truth. Huh? The real thing I wanted to tell you was... Snake, I... I... Hey, what are you doing? <gasps> transmissions. What? Naomi's been removed from this operation. What happened to Naomi? What did she mean when she said that Fox Die was a part of this operation? Colonel, let me talk to her. I won't. She's under arrest. Colonel, you double-crossed me. Snake, there's no time for that. Right now, your job is to stop Metal Gear. Okay, Snake? You bastard, Colonel Campbell. time I took my time and it turned back to room temperature I was great. So we're going to up here we'll be slipping the power key and then I'm going to end this part and the last part will be fighting liquid destroying metal gear and escape. So it's been pretty good. Ten parts. It's such a nice round number. Not nine parts, not eleven parts, ten parts.
completed. Nothing can stop Metal Gear now. Master, what's going on? You found the key, and even activated the warhead for us, too. I really must express my gratitude. Sorry to have involved you in that silly shape memory alloy business. What are you talking about? We weren't able to learn the DARPA chief's code. Even with Mantis' psychic powers, he couldn't read his mind. Then Ocelot accidentally killed him during the interrogation. In other words, we weren't able to launch the nuclear device and we were all getting a little worried. Without the threat of a nuclear strike, our demands would never be met. What do you mean? Without the detonation codes, we had to find some other way. That's when we decided you might prove useful, Snake. What? First, I thought we might get the information from you, Snake, so I had Decoy Octopus disguise himself as the DARPA chief. Unfortunately, Octopus didn't survive the, the encounter, thanks to Fox Dot. You mean you had this plan from the beginning, just to get me to input the detonation code? Huh? <laughs> you didn't think you made it this far by yourself, did you? Who the hell are you? In any case, the launch preparations are complete. Once the world glimpses the power of this weapon, the White House will have no choice but to surrender the Fox Dime vaccine to me. Their ace in the hole is useless now. Ace in the hole? The Pentagon's plan to use you was already successful in the torture room. <laughs> Snake, you're the only one who doesn't know. Ah, poor fool. Who are you anyway? I'll tell you everything you want to know. If you come where I am, that is. Where are you? Very close by. Snake, that's not Master Miller. Campbell, you're too late. Master Miller's body was just discovered at his home. He's been dead for at least three days. I didn't know because my codec link with Master was cut off. But Mei Ling said his transmission signal was coming from inside the base. So who is it? Snake, you've been talking to... Me, dear brother. Snake. Liquid. Liquid. How the... You've served your purpose. You may die now. No, son of a bitch! Get the phone. Out of gun. Snake, that's bulletproof glass. You can't break it with an ordinary weapon. Can't you open the security lock here? I'll try. Just hold on for a minute. Hold on for a minute. I ain't got a goddamn minute. Okay, let's get the gas mask on. There we go. Something real interesting. Look who's standing outside. I hacked into security. Snake, I'm opening the door. Thank God. Before we leave, though, take a look who's outside. Hi, guys. It's me, Liquid. Okay, so I'm going to end this part here, guys. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching. And uh, yeah, part 10, final part coming up. This is part 8, isn't it? Well, we'll see what happens. So yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Look forward to the next part.